is behind Chris. Chris thing guy, that's bad, and then wallow so the way in the back. And I'm gonna start by using the lasso tool. It's still L. Side selection, hit delete. Oh, turn off the top layer so that way we don't have that. And let's go ahead and do some quick cleanups. Alright. E for my eraser tool. And with him, there's going to be a lot of reconstruction because he is behind several other characters. I think he's got Chris's hair overlapping over him, part of Chris's body overlapping over him. But you want to salvage as much of the information you can. And again, I know this method seems a little backwards. Normally you draw on layers, but because I started with a sketch and I moved forward, um, and I wasn't planning to color this originally and draw them separately, but you know, if you're ever stuck in a situation where you make something absolutely, you know, effing amazing, and you're like, oh, this is awesome if I could color, and then you're like, oh, it seems so daunting to try to break things apart, you still have options. You can go in and you can do some quick 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 cleanups alright just want to check real quick can you guys still hear me yes you guys can still hear me awesome don't mind me I just want to make sure I haven't been disconnected or anything alright cool another swig of water uh, swig of water alright D for default B for brush tool I'm going to switch to my hard brush all right, and let's quickly fill in the gaps you switch between your eraser tool and don't be afraid to be aggressive with your line art it actually looks it's more appealing to the eyes more entertaining mm. Rotate. There's Danny's hand. All right, now Danny has. Let me check. He's got a long sleeve. That's what I thought. There we go. And there's the lip there. So it looks like he's wearing a shirt. Very cool. Let's go over here. Okay, now here's the part where it's going to be a little difficult. Because you have part of the light coming down this way and the other light going that way. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to draw right below. I'm going to create a new layer. Drop the opacity to 50% of the other layer. And I'm going to quickly sketch out what the body should look like. So occasionally you will have to go in and do some quick sketching. All right, cool. 
And then this other leg is back here. And then not to worry about it, this is just to give me a guideline to where his stuff is located. Now let me confirm this with the reference image. So I'm looking right here at his shoes. I'm looking at his shoes. The shoes are located just below the knee. Excuse me. And now I can go ahead and finish up my drawing. Save. Currently we have 641 megabytes. That is an incredibly huge file. Okay, that's okay. And then let's make my brush a little smaller. It's like reconstruction. There we go. Cool beans. Let's go over here. Very cool. And let's go ahead and finish the boot. Finish the circle. And then... There you go. Cool. So that takes care of that. Cool beans. And let's go over here. And he's got... His light goes all the way to back here. And occasionally, you might just want to just draw straight through, so that way you can make sure that it looks like the masks are overlapping. I think just simply go back in and erase. Not hurting anything. But you're making sure that it looks like your line art actually has correct overlapping shapes, and it's not like a random leg that's a little off to the side or whatever it is. <clears throat> Let me redraw some of that line. Let's clean that out. Very cool. I think this needs to go lower because it's located towards his ankles. Oops. A little too big. There we go. Very cool. Control zero to fit to screen. Double click so that way it rotates. Let's check it out versus the original costume. I'm still missing the ball on the inside. Now one thing if I want to draw a perfect circle, simply go ahead and I draw a circle. Oops. Oops, what did I do? M for marquee tool. Stroke. And then I don't want it to be 25 points. I want it maybe to be 10. There we go. And you have a perfectly drawn circle. So you go to stroke and you can create the thickness of your image. Very cool. Save. And I'm going to move this image. Oops, not you. 
a reference image. I want to move this down a little bit. And let me move this behind the drive so that way I can see what I'm doing. All right, very cool. All right, so let's go ahead and start coloring Danny. All right, so I don't need you anymore. And then Danny line art. Very cool. Safe. Ooh, hands cramping. It cannot be good. Okay, control shift N. Danny. Color flat. Cool. All right, let's scroll back down to the bottom and let's start with some basics. His hair. All right, rotating. Go ahead and start with your brush tool. And in this case, he's got a thick eyebrow, so I can actually stick that in there as well. Very cool. Cool beans. And as you can see, you know, after a while, it, it's kind of repetition. Repetition is the good learning key. And you can pretty much practice this with, you know, different techniques, tweak it out, see what other artists are doing. I love to see what other artists are doing. Um, I learn a lot from observing other people color and draw. I never think that I am the top of my game. I'm always learning new things every day. Um, I'm going to borrow Bev's hair color for his eyes. All right, the same thing goes with Beth. Over shirt color for his teeth. Cool beans, go to the bottom. Tongue. You can see how building the color palette uh, saves you a lot of time after a while, especially if you're using, uh, you're creating content that is of, um, you have reference to, and it saves you a lot of time in the long run. All right, so he's got red shirt. So that goes here, here, here. So that's his dark reds, and then here and here. Very cool. So let's go in and start coloring. One, two, May triple check that's the correct colors. Yep, that is the correct colors. It also goes into a sphere as well. And cool beans go there as well. All right, and his shoes. His shoes are a different shade of red. So it's the same color as the over... Sorry, Walla, they need to put an X on your face. All right, let's go over here. Now, let me see, is that yellow? Yes, those are yellow. Okay, so I'll leave that alone. And close it up there. My bad. Okay, and here, since we're going to have an overlapping color. Um, pretty much to indicate that that is a sleeve tucked in. There we go. I'm going to go with a darker color. And then... Doo -doo. 
Du du du. Down here. Cool, that takes care of that. And go over here. And if I remember correctly, he's got yellow, yellow, yellow. Now there's white here. So let's go and finish that out. And then Danny's yellow clothing. Alright, very cool. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, and let's go to his grey shirt. Really? Man, there's a gap in here somewhere. Okay, I get forced the gap. Really? There we go. <coughs> Fail. Alright, there we go. Cool. Alright, and he's got light gray pants. Any pants. Pants, 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 pants are good. Clean that line art there a little bit. Same thing goes in here. I'm gonna use the poly lasso tool for this. The lead key. Alright, very cool. Clears that. Danny yellow. And let's go in here. Oops. Wrong layer. Very cool. Alright, let's borrow his skin from over here. Very cool. beans. So he's pretty much well colored. Uh, his sticker, that was yellow too. Very cool. Very cool. And... <laughs> <laughs> All right, very cool. All right, nice little doggy sword. If I remember correctly, it's like um, 
orangey reddish. I'm gonna borrow this red here from his shirt. Make it a little brighter, but then lower the saturation on that. I don't wanna make it pink. I should make it like an orange. Hmm. Let's find out. Let's use the poly lasso tool for this. If it's a little off, it's not like you can go back in and clean. It's not too shabby. Save that. <sighs> Control J. Turn that off. Any gray. Control U. Drop the saturation. Turn off my reference image. Not using that. R. Figure out where Chris is in relation to him. Are there any glows near him? There's some. There's not a lot of glows, but there's some glows near him. I'm going to go back to Chris, unlock him, and drop him down to 10% once again, so I have a point of reference for the lighting. Alright. And let's get to it. Let's get dangerous. Dark Queen Duck. When there's trouble, they call DW. Dark Queen Duck. Sorry right, guys, excuse me. And sometimes, like I said, zooming out a little bit and looking where your items are in relation to your light source helps you out figuring out where to put your lights. Hmm. Some shadows on there. Highlight there. There we go. So, these coming along. Alright. Hmm. 
Oops. Voila. So we got the before and after. Before and after. Not too bad. Increase the opacity to 100%. And then turn this on. And now it's to multiply. Hmm. Nope. Multiply. Not color burn. Again, I'll go back in and lighten up those colors a little bit. Alright, All right, cool. Alright, now let's go ahead and give that line art some color. Move that right there. Go to channels. Select the control shift I. Turn this. Put that back to normal to make sure you're sampling the right colors. There. Black. Drop down. Excellent. Hmm, too close. There we go. A little more aggressive. He's got skin over here too. Both his hands. Space bar. Increase that brush size to tackle more space. And cool. So that takes care of the skin. Alright, so let's take care of those teeth. Drop it down. A little bit more. There we go. Don't want to make it too light because then it just looks a little odd. Hmm. Very cool. Okay, let's go for that shirt. Very nice dark red for the shirt. Mm -hmm. As you can see after a while, it's just repeating yourself over and over and over again. So it just depends what you're doing. The worst thing someone can do when they're <clears throat> when you're coloring an image is that they start changing their art style right in the middle of the image. And I've seen that a lot. And there's nothing wrong with it. However, you run into the problem where you know if one art style looked awesome, but then another one didn't. You're gonna have inconsistencies in your painting. And people will notice that when one side of your painting looks awesome and the other side doesn't. Just saying. Okay. It's right there. Uh. All right, so scrub this. Um, make that a hair darker.
Alright, cool. 